I miss some of the old because this is so different. You know? Well, luckily, Darkest Dungeon One still there. Sure is. Sure is. I think sure is, is is like legitimately the actual answer you would get from somebody on the dev team. Yeah. Like they they they. I read an interview in which they were very clear that they wanted DD two to be a non replacement game. They and didn't they, want to they invalidate DD one. They succeeded with that. So uh, I, I gotta ask. Uh, you played DD one in early access a good deal, right? Yes. Okay. Did I ever talk to you about the state of dice rolls in Baldur's Gate 3? Uh, I th you must have when you first broke down that early access so run. Way, way long ago. Mm -hmm. So one of the, the, the more interesting things about early access is how willing the developer is to compromise on their vision. Right? Mm. If players universally go, Yo, this sucks! You can either go but that's my vision or you can capitulate. So I remember darkest dungeon one when it came out, I don't think it had that corpse toggle. And I think corpse corpses came with version 1.0 because I remember people right when version 1.0 of darkest dungeon came out complaining like crazy that dude, I love this game. I supported it all this time. And this corpse thing is totally ruining it for me. Really? They eventually put the toggle in. Yeah, there corpses, was a lot of anger about that. Corpses are a, a they're an extra degree of difficulty, but they can be tactical, right? Like, right. I have a hellion in my front row, and I have her with a buffed up iron swan, which is an attack that goes front row to back row, which means mm. corpses holding something in the back row is good for me when that turn comes around. You know, I get that. And I don't personally mind, but at the same time, I can understand that like people who've been playing the early access build for nine to months to a yeah, year and yeah, had yeah. learned how to like like it didn't like the change. Uh, a lot no. of the stuff that you're complaining about in Dark Ascension Two, like it's going to depend on like how true they want to stay, like the tooltips, right? Yeah, if they're just put their foot down, it's like no, this is the way that this is better. You guys are wrong. And the reason uh, why I mentioned Baldur's Gate Three. Oh, sorry. After you, I keep I keep talking oh, no. too much. I was just gonna give a side tip just for anyone that it, it if you if you're having trouble with that, um, uh, the grave robber go to mm -hmm. one of her flashbacks, and the first ability you get when you do one of her memories is a corpse destroyer that huh. heals you. Well. So. You get up, get pouch. Always use get pouches of lie every time, and pouches of lie will destroy the corpses. But mm -hmm. pick grave robber memory one, destroy corpse, get like thirty three percent healing back. That's pretty good. So it's it's fantastic. So yeah. So the reason I mentioned uh, Baldur's Gate three is uh, Larian has been kind of. Um, they're probably the number one dev I can think of in terms of listening to feedback. With the divinity, divinity, that divinity games in early access, they changed a bunch of it, and they even went on to uh, build in some of the more popular mods into the Switch version of the game. Okay, like stuff, stuff like regenerating MP when you sleep, stuff like that. Uh, and so, Baldur's Gate three comes around the early, early access of like the first thing. They're like, we want this to be the most pure Dungeons & Dragons experience possible. So all these dice rolls are real. And what that means is Plague did a pretty big video on it that I think sums up my point better than I'm going to be able to, is that with real dice rolls in a vacuum, you can just get miserable runs of luck. Just absolutely miserable sequences i streamed it for a couple nights and on one of those nights i failed every single possible role mm. that i could in every dialogue so like just it was true true random one true to six one random. to twenty yeah okay. it was such a goddamn bummer it was the worst mm. and in in a real tabletop session the dm who would be making those roles mm -hmm. would eventually just lie <laughs> and and be like, nah, you got it. Hey, man, you just barely clutched it out so that everyone could have fun. 
Or you right? check your or you check your stats like uh, and you add to the number yeah. to see if you clear it. So they just they that was the number one like the, the early access build it has issues that was the number one complaint with a bullet no question mm-hmm. so I went okay we're gonna learn from our peers in the random number generation video game space like XCOM and we're going to put a streak system in where the game is gonna recognize lots of successes and lots of failures and try and adjust accordingly. This led to a situation which was, depending on who you ask, even worse. Because what would happen is if you got lucky streaks, you were now guaranteed to fail in the mm-hmm. near future. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. <And> so, <laughs> so they finally have just totally capitulated. Fun limiter. And, and now the streak system is only in place for failure. Okay. Not you will successes. not be penalized yes, yes. <laughs> for you'll essentially be given pity rolls if you're Fun too is unlucky. Allowed. Yeah. And they have added an option to click a button that reverts it back to the old system of just pure rolls. If you want it to be that way. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And, That's fine. And it's like that is a that's one of the things I read interviews in which they talked about how important it was that they kept it super accurate yeah, and the yeah, integrity yeah. of the yeah, dice. Yeah, yeah. And then, like, this wave of anger, and like, no, 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 get rid of that. Get rid of that. We're changing that. That's, that was a <laughs> mistake. That um, was a mistake. You know what fucking game could benefit from a system like that? A little old something called Dokapon Journey. Oh, yeah? Yeah! Yeah, what's up? Because it's been like three sessions of absolute shit rolls across the board every yeah. time it's my turn. Yeah. And it seems to just be localized entirely in my kitchen. Have you ever thought about, like, being better at the game? Yeah, well. <laughs> Anyways. Um, fuck that. That would. I don't know if that Ugh. would like increase or decrease tension. I just all I want is a little report card, so that I can just show like the so consistent you can't roll digital dice. I just that's it. That's yeah. it. Just show okay. right. And if anyone has anything to say about fairness or unfairness, please refer to the fact that the numbers hate me. Wooly, the dice. There's no such Wooly, I have to I'm you know what? I don't know what's going on over there, but what you just said, if you are walking if you are being thrown out of a casino, lamenting, no, you don't understand. Look how many bad it's not fair. People so- to and quote Min, bums on the street would laugh at you. Of course, of course, but that's only one half of the equation. You're only hearing one half of the equation. To quote Min, right? <coughs> it's not just how bad your roles have been. It's that Reggie's right afterwards have all been good. Well, I don't know what to tell you. Gambling isn't fair. Of course not. <laughs> <laughs> But like it got to a point where like he was like, dude, I don't, I don't know, I, I just don't know. <laughs> like and and so that anyway, it, it's it's interesting because when it comes to like actual dice, you're looking at dice hit the table and you go, well, that's what it is. Them's the breaks casino, right? Um, and then you look at this video game and you go, is there a rubber banding system? Well, they, what's I- happening here? You're not you're not gonna contact a dev and find out that there's a hidden stepchild status that's applied to one player at random and then fucks up their dice rolls. No, it, but it might. It, de- but there was stuff in Kingdom that applied only to first place and only to last place. Well, I mean that makes sense. Yeah, so that it might it might do shit like that, you know. And I've seen some. I I, I saw a turn of Mario Party where. The CPU on on 3DS got six stars in one turn. <laughs> uh, I mean, I played games of Mario Party, like... which, 
in which Bowser Come comes on. out and just says that the game's placements are inverted because he feels like it, and then just shits in your mouth. Mario Party, like getting mad at Mario Party feels like an exercise in frustration because yeah. God will just decide who wins at the end of the game. That's it. That's it. You know, and I mean, and it's not just roles. Like I'm saying roles because that's like the most tangible like you know track of like look at these bad numbers but uh it's also like every event in the game because there's when you land on a space you might fight or an event might occur and like 90 percent of them only happen to me and they usually involve some shit fucking npc walking up and going like hey give me some money and then you're like no and then it's like well then you're cursed or yes and then it's like thanks <laughs> and then they just take your money you know, or in some cases, it'll be like, hey, give me some money and something good will happen. And then you give them some money and then it's like they just walked away. And, you know, or you're like, cursed. You know, so it just it's kind of wild. It's a wild ass streak. But what can we do?